what's up guys this is the right from and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my own planet of war let's play as the kingdom of as the republic of venice and in this episode uh we have a prussian uh, polish army coming in from the rear and we're going to jump in and defeat them as well as fight off the garrison uh, but their armies are quite badly depleted much more depleted than ours so it should be okay but let's get cracking so if we defeat this, defeat these forces, we can we'll, we'll secure Hungary, and then that will be a we'll be in quite a good position to either help Austria or potentially what I'm interested in doing is maybe marching on Berlin. You know, from Prague to Dresden to Berlin, go that way. Really, that's quite tempting. Uh, okay, let's take my conscript line, back them up with uh, all my artillery, because that's the predictable direction. Now we've got an unpredictable direction in the form of their reinforcements. See, okay, they are coming right over on the corner. It's very much overkill to put everyone on it. Let's keep our pikes here as well, even though they are quite badly depleted. And these infantry can hold as reserves. Well, I'm actually steal one more just to stretch this line out a little bit. Vinchul cavalry's on the way. Stand up guards and atom. Oh yeah. That's taking care of them. The gunners do just focus on the infantry coming in. Yeah, I can hear the horses rattling, so... Excellent. So everyone's ready. Looks like the Polish, the, the Polish garrison realises they are riding to their dooms. It's the general's bodyguard. Shot the general off his horse. You guys might actually be able to do some, do a little bit of damage because most of the infantry, most of my shots focused on the general coming in. You, do, you guys, just pick on their infantry as it advances in. A small unit of plates will clear out the rest of this provincial cav well enough. Pull back, push my militia back into position. Whoever's ready to shoot will start shooting. Although very much already, <laughs> already broken. Shattered them just before they pulled out. Push our flank up. There's another regiment of horse coming in. Oh, these guys, yeah, they've taken a good amount of damage already. Excellent. Well then bring your other forces to bear. Get the mercenaries well within range. Oh, no, this side unit of militia. Put them under fire. If 
provincial cavalry is charged using yeah. my conscripts, but they've pushed them off. There we go, my line infantry can begin firing by rank like they're supposed to. You thought your friends were going to save you. How quaint. Instead, they're here to watch you fall. Excellent. There goes the garrison. It's coming in to help. Straight into them. Oh no, there we go. So it's these guys we want to chase down. Because we intercepted the army behind our flank. Or behind us, we intercepted them. So it's this this army is the original army. The army that came in to reinforce them was the garrison. Focus on the infantry mercenaries rather than the guerrilla mercenaries. 34. Okay, how are you doing? You're doing good. Let them know what it means to to make war against the against Venice. We're not gonna let them get away with it. Excellent. They're going to escape. Let's go help my esteemed comrades. Kill as many men as they can, although these guys are definitely gonna be fine. They are taking the longest route to the edge. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. So, an 8 to 1 kill ratio. That's pretty good. Line infantry got the most kills. Oh, 111 kills. No losses. So, you might have retreated back to the farm. Poland's moved up another force. Well, some more troops probably to try to either support Hungary or to uh, harass us. Russia is still raiding. And they're still advancing into Central Europe, which I don't quite like so much. Italian states are still being crafty. Austria's taken some territory on North Africa, I think. Barbary states, yes, I want peace. Leave me alone. 3,900. That's pretty good. Okay, so. Now we've not yet taken the city, but keep. Up the replenishment of this army. You men need to replenish as well, and we're going to manually fight this engagement here. Just uh... yes, it's moments like that that the AI screws you over, and you lose a bunch of men to kill a handful of infantry and cavalry, and it's just miserable. So let's not do that. Let's not fall for that quick and easy trap, especially as we need to really uh, manage our money at the minute because we are starting to get into not getting into trouble we're getting out of trouble 
but we are at a point where we can't afford to to throw money around so most of our force won't get engaged here who will get engaged is my cavalry because we want to clear them out 12 pounders and load go for the dragoons He goes fire well off, send him a provincial cavalry to attack them. Because then you will pursue them. Cavalry will pursue their their cavalry. Effectively, you're just going to smack into that mercenary unit. Hey, on the guerrilla mercenaries. Pursue them, regiment of force. Pursue them. Artillery blast them. And some of them are running away over here, so we won't get them. Excellent. Hold my artillery to hit. Try hit those provincial cav on the retreat. Everyone else. Plus one cavalryman on the stakes. Excellent. Nice. Just mop them up nice and tidy. Uh, no need to go crazy. Okay, we wouldn't have lost eight men if we auto resolved it. I know that for darn sure. Is your in position here as well? But yeah, I'm tempted. To try and push them up to Prague. So let's have a look at what's the deal. Not a huge amount of troops. Because there's Bavaria are indifferent to us. Hanover are unfriendly. But if we take the guts out of the Prussian Empire, that will be that threat dealt with, and it will start to be more about the Ottomans again. Hmm. 3,800. Still think I want to keep ramping up my government infrastructure. So, Venice. I mean, Venice is my most valuable region. Bumping up from a state house to a state capital to get an extra 3% bonus. My tax income has got to be pretty good, right? Then we are going to upgrade farm here. So we've got access to two more um, villages plus a town here from Zagreb. 55 turns. We're still driving another carcass shot route, uh, but I think as we drive, if we drive into uh, Central Europe, we will start to capture schools, and we'll be able to take them into our own service. And we'll also be able to safeguard Austria to a certain degree there. Um, no trade available. Our ministers are okay, we haven't got an election for a few turns. 
So, how much are we due next turn? 4,700. That's not bad. Ideally, I'll take Hungary. Oh, no. I mean, ultimately, I don't mind if they take it. I'm going to decline the attack because you got this, Austria. I don't mind that. That's not terrible. We can we can manage with that. And ultimately, a strong Austria is, in general, better for us. I, mean, I think I'm still going to push on towards Prague. Aha! The Ottomans are going to rise again. Okay, let's beef up our garrison in Istanbul. I'm going to leave one of my armies up here to support the Austrians. Then I'm going to leave. I'm going to bring my my good army back to Istanbul, ready to fight. Well, ideally, I'll build the Istanbul garrison up to defend itself. Then maybe land down in um, Cairo, and that will catch the Ottomans off guard. Yeah, they're they're up to something. They know we're up to something. Well, I know they're up to something. So, you men. I don't like how far away you are from things. I'm going to spend a turn to get back to the coast. And we will give you a lift. We just need mass. Another three units of infantry plus... A turn of conscripts will do. 1100. Okay, so grenadiers. Well, you were going to you were going to get those grenadiers. Cavalry just make all speed across this across the center of the continent. But yes, a strong Europe here is fine. Uh, a strong Austria up here is fine. Could ostensibly go for Poland, but I think I, I think I want to try and put pressure on Austria. So where's my? How's the road looking to Prague? Ah, Leopold von Anhalt Dessau. Lots of really good cavalry. This is an example of where I want less militia and more good infantry. Wait, you shouldn't have completely absorbed that unit. That's a bit funky. Let's get a unit of how it says. It'll take you a while to get here. But ultimately, we need to try. We need to get ready to defend or help defend um, Vienna. Actually, I might even try. Not the gentleman. Six percent chance of. No, I need to. I need to kill him the traditional way if I'm going to do that. But yes, yeah, so I want to try get troops back over here. So if we could take Ankara would be a great capture because lots of towns here. Take Cairo is also very good. Again, lots of towns. Two more turns for Carcassonne. Then we'll get Gunnery School. Well, we'll start to go down the artillery track a bit more. 4,400, because we've lost trade. Access to trade. Okay. Here comes the Royal Navy. But they might appear to not have access. The Austrians are pulling their troops back up towards the front line, which is smart. The United Provinces have taken Cuba. More Prussians trying to steal technology. But I'm hoping my... Uh... Oh no. Okay, may have to remove one of our... The army that's supporting Austria. 
Okay, so we've got... Okay, so that army attacking Istanbul pulled back. So we can beef up our garrison a bit more there. I do think we have to put pressure on on the Prussians. That's probably going to be result in moving my army west towards Venice and then pushing north and try and threatening Prague. We'll try and threaten Prague. Because as it stands, we don't really have a much of anything. Yeah, so you need to get over here. Because then you're going to push this army east. Because you're much more set up to fight this army. You... okay... So you're grading your government building. Naples can get a state house just to try and squeak out a bit more tax. 3,500. It's, it's all of our the troops that we've recruited. They are starting to recruit troops up here at Iassi, but I don't know how much of it's just to defend against the Russians. You're going to get a unit of horse artillery. Not necessary to be used as horse artillery, but just to blast. Well, they're actually 12 pounders are cheaper. Just to blast a breach with canister shot. Um, farms are still good. I'm tempted to upgrade this. To try and really boost Zagreb's population growth. To get some of these other towns up and ready. One more turn till Kaka shot's done. Let's keep hold of this money, this for now. See? I need to I need to upgrade this cannon foundry as well. But yes, yeah, so you guys hold your position. So I need to put pressure on. Russia. I mean, I think Poland... No, I don't think Poland's at war with Prussia. Well, I know f uh, Russia, Russia is at war with Prussia. Poland is just trading with them. But yeah, I think we need, to, we need to start knocking out some of these cities. Good. They are bringing their troops back. The Dutch cleared out that pirate fleet at some cost. Yep, yeah, here come the Prussians. Our Poland's going to come over here and start trying to steal some of our technology. Oh, don't you do it, Ottomans. Oh. If they land and take Sicily, that'll blow a hole in our budget for sure. Yeah, I think we need to... This is tricky. This is real tricky. How do you balance it? Oh, well, it's out of Italy. Are you going to go fight the Ottomans? No. Are you going to go invade someone? Hopefully not me. I mean, attacking Rome is an interesting option. Four thousand two hundred. So we've got carcass shot. I think you have to start doing some of these things. Some more economy growth things, and we'd start biting some of these Prussian Enjoy. stacks. We can't really avoid it. it sucks. I want to start engaging, upgrading my economy, but I can't. I need my money. Advance up to here. You're not within range. You're still going to hold. I think we might have one turn of not having to worry about our economy. Got a bit of breathing space here because you pull away. 
I am concerned about this. There's not a huge amount I can do about it. I mean, you are also a concern. But again, there's only so much stuff I can take on. Let's get a state capital. I think we do. Come on, Zygrip, keep on growing. Hmm. The question is, do we go I don't well, I don't know what state these I'll armies are in. Here. What are you like? Yeah, vicino a lot. Ah, he's dead, that's what he is. A lot of infantry. We're waiting on our one one more on our unit of artillery, which is going to take a while to get up here. I think I might try and get a peace deal with Poland. So that way, that, that way, these guys don't run through here and attack my land. Um, we can focus on. Russia. And I want to try and see if I can hold a bridge. See if I can lure one of them into a bridge battle. Although I am cutting myself off from supporting Austria. God damn it. Let's move east. Try get within range. You'll be able to deal with this really good general next turn. Yeah, I think fundamentally we need to smash some Prussians up. And let them know what it means to be enemies against us. So the Prussian armies have withdrawn. Well, largely withdrawn. Stealing my technology, that's par for the course. Okay, Ottomans. More, more troops in Istanbul. More! However many I think I need more. Oh, I just went on a little boat trip. Yeah, I think the the goal the only the, the course of action is to defend Istanbul as much as is practically possible. I mean, Marines would be lovely, but they take two turns. Something like that. And another. Well, let's not get another conscript yet, because we want to push against. Leopold von Anhalt Desso. Attack them. See if we can kill him. That would be particularly good. I mean, we're not going to be able to replenish this army in one turn, but that's not kind of not the objective. We're going to pick, pick and choose who we replenish. But yes, I want to try and if I can kill that general, that would be superb because he is a a threat, especially a threat that's in these mountains. I don't necessarily care about him raiding the church. Um, I care about him being loose. And in this situation, my conscripts are actually going to be less useful. And I can keep them together. I can use them, but I want to keep my pikes more central. My grenadiers will probably fulfil the same role as my pikes. The bulk of well, the bulk of my cavalry has got to be on the left. That's where all the freedom of movement is. Bombard 
the enemy artillery. Okay, I want to try and I need to push my left flank in hard. Push my pikes up hard. Well, I mean, you guys just could drop straight in square and immediately that regiment of horses coming. Guys, have to push up fast. Same with you guys. Same with you guys. Okay, right now it's enough. Grenadiers pushing, attack the carabiner. Pikemen pull back. Don't want to completely expose yourself. You men reform the square. collapsing pull these men back pull my pikemen back Push the blunder by shotgunners. Regiment of horse. The general's right there. Okay, we, we need, still need just a whole lot of. Okay, right, you guys can get out of square. Gunners, focus on the right flank because that's where the enemy threat is. is in position. All right, let's go try hunt that enemy general. There he is. Line infantry fall back. And now they're pushing in with their actual infantry itself. Cover engage the Ulans. done a great job cavalry busting. Right, run away, don't charge straight into that infantry block. That way lies madness. Guns smack this section of line. Excellent. Putting good fire into the Brunswickers. Lots of these other units aren't really getting into doing their jobs. Actually, one of you chased down the blend of a shotgunners. Two of you get up here and threaten that general. Square and form line, engage the infantry with our guns. Okay, here the general comes again. Will my lowly conscripts be the ones to engage him? One of my cavalry is to run all the way around 
prevent an escape from that direction. Shut the door on this entire penetration. Engage the general with my artillery. If it was just some other random general, I'd be, I mean, my general's going to get to work killing some of these troops. Shattered, but what direction are you going to run? Got him! Excellent. Right, let's now let's slaughter these Prussian dogs. Oof, thank goodness. sure everyone is committed against someone. Kill them all! Is there only eight line infantrymen left? There, just the one line infantryman. Excellent. Slammed some shops home into my own infantryman, which isn't super neat. Eight men left here. One expatriate left. And a bunch of this unit over here. Well, a bunch. 23. Ah, they are going to escape, but we are going to get a couple of kills. Yeah, they spread, they spread out all over the shop. But there we go. That was an incredibly veteran Prussian army defeated. We cannot, like I said, we cannot uh, replenish all of our troops in one go, so we're going to have to go by in blocks. There we go. It's a good, good amount of damage for them. Um, now, do you just push on and attack Ernst Zaythan? I think you do, because we can bring in some Austrian reinforcements. Let's try, we need to try and shatter a significant amount of their combat power right now. We have the advantage. We need to uh, achieve a relatively decisive effect before the Ottomans elect to attack us. This isn't our ideal army, but we've got plenty of firepower. My reinforcements are coming in on the left. From here. I mean, my grenadiers aren't going to get involved. Attachment of conscripts and militia on either flank. The militia and conscript flanks can get pike support. 
My general and my sars are going to be looking out for any routing units. My grenadiers hold the town hall. Everyone else. Get ready to advance. My uh, pikemen are going to be incredibly important. And the sooner my reinforcements get here to back me up, the better. Your Lancer Guards, yeah, they're good cavalry, but they're not like the heavy cavalry, the heavy elite cavalry that we've we've seen in previous engagements. And the longer they take to form up, the more Austrians join the field. And Austrian heavy ca Austrian cavalry is seen on the distance to their rear. Oh, they, I think they're forming up for a charge. Yeah, they might smash that unit of, of, uh, of infantry, but that's okay. Killed the enemy general. Oh, he was in the cavalry. Ignore that combat and push the militia up. Pikemen are trying to charge in, my, even my lowly militia. Yeah! I'm doing damage to make them consider this, if this is a good idea or not. Punch my pikemen in. Militia warm up. There we go. Now we're cutting through them. Artillery engage the engineers because they're at full strength. Get my cavalry to engage this infantry unit because they might actually be able to kill them. The ancient Hussars! The famous first light horse. Flank is crumble. Advance up and secure the secure the position. Kill the remaining the last of the 24th regiment. They've been killed. Oh no, cavalry, regiment of force, winning decisively. That's not what we want to see. Clear them out. Winning decisively. I wonder how long it takes for that to flip around. Yeah, they've been. Okay, right. guns to engage the Swiss line and to engage the militia. It looks like if I want to, if I want to route any units I have to go 
specifically to this gap and then come through it. Gunners, engage the militia. Gunners, cease engaging the militia. Keep, don't be distracted. Then right, we're going to continue. Killed some of my SARS there. Expat infantry, there's only seven of them. That's a good get if we can get them. Uh, they're going to escape. Swiss line. Before I go for the Swiss line. I mean, between Swiss line and militia, even though you might not kill the Swiss line, it's definitely worth trying. Because Landwehr and militia you don't really care about. Close. That wasn't a close feature, that was a fantastic combined feat of arms. Excellent. And the first Hussars have gained more experience. Finiosi. Superb strategy, sir. Replenish whatever you can, that's just the general. But that'll do. Um, six. I mean, yeah, you are, you are a concern. <laughs> that, that is that is concerning, I do admit. Um I suppose what I could do I'm gonna I'm gonna potentially lose a lowly a sixth rate. Let's sit them on the line. And say right, you have to kill this sixth rate before you push through. It may, they might it might make them think actually, do we wanna do this? Just just a little bit, maybe. Alright, still on joints. Well, we're researching joint SOC companies. Right, ministers. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. So you are ripe for justice, minister. Plus one navy, plus one management, plus one management. So you're ripe for the navy. Plus, oh no, plus one management, plus one justice. So you're also a good justice minister, but you're kind of a, a good catch-all. My treasury minister is specifically good at the army. I think that's got to be it. You're good at the army. These two, these two want to be in the justice minister, justice ministry, but they've both got good bonuses um, across the board. So actually, yeah, they're quite good there. Four thousand five hundred. Okay. Joint stock companies would allow, would allow me to upgrade my home port if that becomes an option. Opportunity to intercept? Not yet. If Austria intercepted them, then maybe. Yeah, it's another. There's another Prussian army. Ugh. More Ottoman troops are massing. I mean, I hope the Prussians just get obsessed with Hungary. Previously, that's been the AI's MO. When they've been going after Hungary, they've not been interested in pushing south against me. But that could well change. That's a gamble. It is a gamble. We need to do this carefully. Manage what we're doing. State capital in Venice. So that's going to boost my income. Well, it has boosted it because income is level, and I have I've grown the garrison of the 
of Istanbul. So let's do something like that. Slowly crank it up. Uh, you can... Impossible, Signore. Ronti! In marcha! Why aren't you letting me... Signore! Ronti, aglio! In which case, then, I'm going to kind of leave you alone, then, and say, right, all of this money... Well, actually, all of it. I say all of it. We're going to combine our conscripts together. Recruit a grenadier unit. Oh yeah, I lost my Grenadier unit. They must have destroyed the building they were in. But yeah, Grenadier unit plus... Uh, go this way. Go like that. Then 1,300. Let's get the Ordnance Factory built. Because I need to start... I need to be able to recruit more artillery up here rather than relying on just Istanbul. Two turns to deploy stock companies, which is fine. And I'm probably going to want to hold back some of these industry ones, because we've got a good amount of industry. We've just not been able to deploy it yet. Uh, I'm going to... Well, they helped me out. They're a bit weak. Let's do it. Let's be, let's be good allies. Um... Yeah, they did help me when I was at risk, so let's help them. Um, otherwise, they, they may have got smashed, and then I'm suddenly left with an Austria without a very good army. Um, but I think we are going to be in a position where we're going to we are going to be in a position soon. Oh, yeah, my reinforcing, oh, we're coming in right on their flank. Sars have to get committed into the action pretty rapidly. My artillery just gets set up. We've made them. We've made them check their advance, but they are still coming. Lancers, Marines, Line Infantry. I mean, that's still enough for us to be like, right? Let's not go mad. We're in a position where we still need to get our lines set up. little conscripts, keep them out of the way. Okay, the infantry that we've actually got out here now needs to start advancing on the enemy at speed. Artillery and Limber. Hussars, get over here. Pikes, get over here. But there we go. We're going to start pouring fire onto their infantry. I just want to set my line up first. Alright, 
get in against those lancers. Pick some of their uh, strongest enemy concentrations. You push their flank of the marines. Okay, let's maybe be a bit more aggressive with these guys. Maybe try go for their general in the rear. Again, because it's raining, we get sound issues when it's raining. Go, the, go for the general's bodyguard to the rear. If we can kill him, that would be beneficial. So picking off the 22nd, then we can surround and engulf the second foot guards, although our line infantry are conducting fire by firing by rank into the enemy. Push my infantry up, fire it will off. Volley fire present. Push up to threaten those guards even more. You can join the flank over here. And limber the artillery. Get my foot artillery to engage the 9th regiment. Excellent. So there's the enemy elite infantry down. Just run my guys down here to is one large formation. Push my pikes in to fight some of these mercenaries. Get my conscripts. Get some of my conscripts to push up ahead of the the line. If we can kill the general, then we'll chase down those two units there. Although well, I might get my general to do that. Head them off. Especially the marines. Oh, Pike, when we clear out the mercenaries, uh, this infantry has to get involved against the Swiss line. Okay, you, you units can form, form ranks and gauge the enemy. Go get those damn marines. Push some infantry in to support the general's bodyguard combat. Excellent. The enemy is breaking across the board. The only thing surviving is the general, plus a weakened unit of line infantry. Artillery, pummel the knight. Hey, oh no, blunderbuss shotgunners, run! Let's see if we can kill that general's body. Let's see if we can kill the general. No, I think they're going to escape. This is there, he's the head of the line. Nevertheless, let's use my cavalry advantage to chase down and kill their general. And let's just get my infantry to run over here. Get their marines. 
2 to engage the Blunderbuss Shotgunners. Good kills, good kills. Great allied cooperation here. Damn right, we're going to continue. Cool, it's then defeated. Okay, now use your. Use the better pathfinding now to knock out the Marines. units rather. Six, four, two, one. Everyone else is over here being pursued by the Austrians. You better run. Let them know what happens when you fight Austrian menace. You tell them. You tell them all. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So those are some quite decisive losses for the Prussian Empire. And we may even just put Prague under siege. Don't even try and attack them. Just siege it. Or trip them. How many more armies like that do you have in your back pocket? Do I want to intercept them? I do not. But if Austria wants to do it, Austria can do it. Uh, no. No peace, Austria. I am not going to accept peace. Uh, auto resolve that. Vittoria! How about you? See? Oh, Poland. Ottomans took their war on me naturally. Call in my allies. Italy didn't join them, didn't, didn't uh, join me. So where's their navy born? army going to go because I can't stop that that's actually a really good place to deploy it uh, nope but it does mean our army near Milan is going to redeploy But we've defeated that Prussian army, so the threat they were there to deal with has been dealt with. Now, now, now it's on. If I can grow the army in Istanbul to be a full army... Okay, right, well, first thing I'm going to do is, even though you are a untrustworthy ally, Italian states, I'm going to get that back, just to the other borders near Venice. You, sadly, cannot make it to the port with your artillery. The infantry can make it, but the artillery cannot. It may actually be more important that they get the art, get Routy. something over there first. Routy. So I can move my ships out. I can get you over to Thessaloniki. Alla via così, Capitano. With enough Verso movement dove, to deploy the army. You can't get back dove, to Capitano. the home port, but you're here now. You are ready to react to, to anything. some of my beefier units, get them replenishing, deal with you. They want to attack Istanbul, but it looks like they're not gonna get they're not gonna get the opportunity with this ship in the way. You guys get back into port. Your grenadiers are coming. As is your artillery. This is very unfortunate. Not that I can I can't really help them. 
because I made peace with Poland. Maybe I might I might have to declare war on them again. Um, it's a bit of a bummer that this is right when the Ottomans decide to attack me. But this army is going to defeat this army, and then in, in time, well, the next thing it'll do is go south to Cairo. I think here they will be able to defend themselves. So howitzers are going to be useful. Plus another unit of a line. Signore. And the rest of the money goes on replenishing you. The, the guns are going to make their way to the port to be transferred over next turn. I mean, I may have to declare war on Poland again, even though I don't really want to. Declare war, don't call my allies, because Austria's already at war anyway. <gasps> but no, I don't want to call their allies in. This is this is going to be a holding action, I think. <laughs> right, that's not, that's really not good. I can't attack that army yet, because I've run out of movement points. No, no technology, Poland. They took it. Opportunity to intercept? Absolutely. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.